What is up, you malignant tricky dicks? I'm McStud, and welcome to the motherfucking McStud Show. I'm wearing the shirt that apparently I'm not allowed to wear to work anymore. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the motherfucking McStud Show, but first, tasty beverage. Didn't have to work today. It's fucked up morning. Not really fucked up, but stupid. Cheers, bitches. Let me just tell you about it. So Monday through Friday, every day of the week, my work day starts at 7 a.m. Every third Saturday, we work an 8 to uh, noon. So on that Friday night, I set my alarms up. You know, my first alarm goes off at 5.55 generally on those 7 a.m. days. So on the uh, Saturday day, I set it to 6.55. So I woke up around 5-ish. I'm like, oh, checking what time it was. I was like, okay, I got an hour to sleep. I fall back asleep. I wake up at 6.55 freaking the fuck out. I'm like, oh my God, I totally forget it's an 8 a.m. day. And I'm like, shit. Uh, so I go to piss and I text my fucking supervisor. I'm like, just woke up. Gonna be a few minutes late. So I'm like rushing to get ready. I get the fuck out. I'm speeding the fucking work. I get there and there ain't no one there. I'm like, well, this is odd. I was like, well, maybe... People called in, so it's just me. And I was like, oh, it's 8 a.m. day. I'm a fucking idiot. That's what it is. God damn it. So I had to sit for a good 40 minutes and then start my day. But then I got a nice, like, three and a half hour nap or some shit. Maybe more. What was it? One. Yeah, about three and a half hours. It was nice. Baby girl. I got home. Baby girl had me, uh, she made me biscuits and gravy. Like, she was in the process of making it when I got home. She's like, this way you have a good nap. But like, yeah, she ain't bullshit. And I was full. I had a fucking amazing nap. I love biscuits and gravy. But anyways, I'm sorry I wasted two minutes of your fucking time talking about my shit. Because the real shit is happening now. Because I have this idea. You know what the fucking world needs? Quite simply stated, this world needs a hairy balls convention. You know, hear, just hear me out, you know. Remember some years ago when they were taking a vote, probably like eight years ago, uh, maybe or so, to name a ship. The U.S. created a, made a ship and they needed it named. And people decided to vote for the former mayor of Fort Wayne, Indiana, whose name was Harry Balls, but it's spelled B-A-A-L-S. But it's pronounced Balls. Um, but they didn't use that one, which was bullshit, but it just goes to show you that people want Harry Balls. So, picture this. A convention like Gen Con or Comic Con or some shit, but it's a bunch of dudes in leggings with a hole in the front and just a hairy balls hanging out. You know, I'm, I'm talking balls that ain't never been shaved. Like, once those initials pubes grew, you know, they just let them roll. You know, the hairiest of balls. And they got booths where you can get pics with guys that have super hairy balls. There's a competition midway through where dudes get up on stage with their hairy raisin bags just hanging out. People get a vote for the best hairy balls of the convention. You know what I'm saying? The winner gets a trophy that's a giant set of fucking hairy balls. Big set of golden hairy balls. Is it kid-friendly? Fuck no, it isn't. Because us adults need to have some fucking fun every once in a while, too. And I don't know if uh, some of you are that are watching are old enough to remember, but if any of you remember the movie CB4, which is a classic Chris Rock movie, it's pretty much a spoof of the NWA come up. You know, they had actual songs made for shit. And one was called Sweat From My Balls. So check this shit out. They got this play in there too. Roll it. Stole it. Anyways, a fucking classic song too. But anyways, a Harry Balls convention. You got vendors selling fresh bags of peanuts mixed with cotton candy to make really nice sacks of sweet Harry Balls. You know, Harry Balls contest, signed photos with people that have Harry Balls. And on the last day, special guest Michelle Obama will be in attendance. And one lucky winner will get the chance to be face to face with the most famous set of first lady balls ever. And also get a picture signed by the man himself. Pronoun Michelle Obama. I'm Stud. Thanks for watching. Deuces, bitches. Ugh.